food miles are how long your food has had to travel from where it's produced to your plate. Well, what's so bad about that? Well, the main reason food miles are such a huge issue is because they have a gigantic negative effect on the environment due to the long distance traveling, which creates emissions. You can reduce food miles by buying local food. Like from my local superstore? No, like from your local farmer's market. Your local farmer's market sells food that was produced near your town or city and is generally healthy and organic. Whoa, where are we? This is the farmer's market. A place where farmers from all over Saskatchewan come to sell their food. Wow, what types of food do they sell here? The farmer's market sells lots of food, like these carrots. Oh, so then they sell vegetables, right? Not just vegetables. You can get all sorts of delicious items, like ice cream made of sea buckthorns, all types of meat, pastries, and even these spicy flowers. To decrease the amount of greenhouse gas emissions you create, you can walk your local farmer's market. Or if it's too cold, you can take the bus. Hey, that's pretty good! If the farmer's market is a bit too pricey for you to buy all the time, instead of buying random products when you go to a regular store, look for food that's traveled less to get to your destination. For example, it's better to buy something from California than Europe, since California is a lot closer to Saskatchewan than Europe is. To find these products, look for information on the selected product that tells you where it's from. You can also do this before you shop and create a grocery list of foods that were grown close to you by using online shopping sites. Like, like from Superstore or Sobeys? Exactly! You're getting the hang of this? Did you know that reducing food miles is a very helpful step in fighting against global warming? Besides the things we have looked at, want to know what else is made locally? I don't know. What is it? Bread from the night of bakery. Their flour is milled in store, and their wheat is brought from farmers all around the province. You know how decreasing food miles also decreases food waste? Food rots while being imported, and grocery stores tend to only sell pretty or good-looking food. In other words, only food that has no visual imperfections are sold. Whoa, that smells delicious. That's freshly baked bread for ya. Mmm, smells so good. Baked freshly this morning, using flour milled from locally grown wheat. You know what? What? I could really go for a burger. Anyone up for one? Well, I know a place we can go. Where? Like McDonald's? You'll see. Um, where are we? I'm correct. We're at Prairie Meats. You're right. Now, if you'll excuse me, let me go take a look at the counter. Anyways, why does it matter if I buy from here rather than McDonald's? They're about the same distance away. Well, you see, beef from McDonald's can come from any place. They'll take hundreds of cows and put them into one burger. But from Saskatchewan, it's all one cow in one place. I'll be somewhere uh, near Saskatoon. The meat here is butchered here and comes from local farms, all in Saskatchewan. Cool! In addition to saving the environment, you're also supporting your local economy and community. Yet another amazing reason to buy local food. When you purchase local food, it sounds like everyone wins. You're learning fast. You may see that the food is priced slightly higher than the other non-local food. This is due to the fact that they can't produce nearly as much as people with acres of greenhouses and crops that can produce food all year. So, oh. So basically, if you buy food locally when you can, it's ten times better? 110% better. It's totally worth it.